guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'll be using the MAC Prep and Prime to prime my face. Then I'll be using the Makeup Forever HD Foundation and Y315. I'll be using the Kabuki brush, the F80 brush from Sigma, and I will be stippling that all over my face. Then I'll be using the Tarte Shape Tape and Light Medium Honey. I'll be doing that under my eyes, bridge of my nose, onto my forehead, and I will be highlighting my face with this. I'll be using the Sigma Kabuki brush in F86 and I'm also going to be stippling this color onto my face as well. I am not rubbing it, I am patting it down, letting it melt into my face. I'm also doing it on top of my eyelids, it'll help prep my eyes for eyeshadow. Then I'll be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Dark Brown and I am filling my brows with that. Then I'll be using the Paint Pot from MAC, a soft ochre, and I'll be using my finger and I'm just pressing that onto my eyelids. So that'll help prep for my eyeshadow. I'm setting my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Now I'm going to be bronzing my face. I'm using Capri Coast and Bronze Bondi from Becca Cosmetics. I'm doing that with my cheekbones and just the top of my forehead too. Then I'll be using the Hoola Benefit bronzer and I'm just going to just be further sculpting out my cheekbones with that and onto my and contouring my nose as well. Then I'll be using the MAC Skin Mineralized Powder in medium golden and I'm just putting that all over my face. Now I'm going to be using the Citrus Pass from Natasha Denona. I love this palette. It, this gives like the best glow ever. This is the Diamond and Blush palette. So I'm going to be using right now is the Glow Cream Base and then I'm putting the Glow Extreme on top and then further making that extra glow with a Duo Glow on top. I love this color. I am obsessed with it. It's so beautiful on. Now I'm using the Powder Blush from that palette and I am just blending in the highlight into my contour. Now I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm using the color Breakaway. And I'm just putting with a shader brush from Makeup Addiction and putting that and highlighting my brow, the arch of my brow. Then I'm going to be using the color Weekender and I'm just putting that all over my lid. And now I'm going to be using Still Shot and I'm using the Crease Blender brush. And I am just blending into my crease and just winging that color out a little bit. And onto my lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to be using the color Riff to further deepen that crease and then the outer V and I'm just blending that into that still shot color that I previously used. Now I'm using the color Punk and further deepening in that outer V and then like slightly putting it into my crease. So I'm just giving it more depth into my eyes and to, to further look more blended of the eyeshadow. And I'm also putting that, buffing that also onto the lower lash line. Now I'm using the color Good As Gone. It's a more of a another deeper, rich, cool tone brown, and I'm further deepening into the outer outer V and blending it into my lid, into the crease, and then buffing it into the lower lash line as well. So it's all about layers when you're doing eyeshadows, or if anything, all over my face. Now I'm going to use the color Smog. It's a neutral, bronzy, cool tone bronze shade. And I'm just putting that on my lid and then I'm just kind of blending out the the other eyeshadows into that color to make it look a little bit more seamless, more blended. Okay, so I'm going to be winging my liner with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. I absolutely love this liner. It does not budge. It is waterproof. I believe it's waterproof, and it, but it doesn't budge. It lasts all day for me. Then I'm going to be using the color Jet and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line with Riff and I'm just going to be blending that out and buffing that out. I'm also going to use the color Baja as well and I'm just further buffing it out and making my lower lash a little bit smoky. Then I'm using the House of Lashes called Noir Fairy Light and I'm lining my lips with Whirl from MAC and using 103 from Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick and then I'm using the Gloss White Russian from Buxom and setting my sprays with NYX Setting Spray and there you go guys. Here is the final look. Hopefully you guys like it. 
and I will see you again next time. Have a great day.